This wine moment is brought to you by St. Superior Estate Vineyards and Winery. The preeminent producer of 100% estate grown Sauvignon Blanc and Cabernet Sauvignon. Catching you up on all things Napa Valley. Well, in this wine moment, we have Emma Swain. She is the CEO for St. Supery Estate Vineyards and Winery. She has been the CEO for over 15 years, and we want to welcome you to our city tonight. Well, thanks for having me, Lita. It's great to be here with all of you, and I love being back in Vancouver. Oh, we're so great. It's so great to have you, and uh, with such amazing wine. I mean, in the big wine industry, everybody recognizes this name. and. Though your winery has set itself apart by having the Napa Green certification. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, I love the Napa Green certification. We first became certified in the vineyard um, in 2008 and the winery in 2012. And what's really special about the Napa Green certification is it's like an umbrella over sustainable farming, biodynamic farming, and organic farming, because it encompasses not just how we farm, but also how um, our carbon footprint impacts, how we recycle, um, how we treat our people, um, and how we um, treat our community. And so it's looking at the total picture. So we um, well obviously farm sustainably, but it also takes into account how we recycle at the winery. We compost all our stems and seeds from the winemaking process. We recycle all our water from the winemaking process. We're 94% solar offset with our power. And so it's thinking about all of those things, but also what we do for our community and giving back to our community is a big part of what we do as well. That's incredible, and, you know, because when the word green was used so many years ago, it was always like, oh, sure. <laughs> the whole greenwashing, you guys are doing it. So we you're are. definitely one to follow for sure. Uh, now you've had over 25 years experience in the agricultural wine industry. Tell us a bit about that. You know, I love the wine business. I went to school at UC Davis, and when I first went up to get my first apartment, I drove through Napa Valley on the way home, and I thought, how do I live here? I need to live here. And that was kind of a little focus for me. And my husband and I, when we were dating in college, would go up to Napa Valley and, um, when I started my career after college, I worked in the Bay Area in um, financial consulting, and I thought, you know, how do I get back to Napa Valley? And and one day, someone I worked for said, "Hey, do you know anybody who wants to go be a controller at a winery?" And I said, "Take me." And and there you go. And I moved to Napa Valley. Wonderful. It was pretty fabulous. Excellent. And um, I do have to ask you. I know you have so many choices, but. Do you have a favorite in the wine? Oh, you know, they're all my children <laughs> and they're all very good and delicious children. But I, I do, I love our Sauvignon Blanc. I love our Cabernet Sauvignon. I, I tend to have a lot of Sauvignon Blanc in our house because I, I cook a lighter style of cooking. I haven't eaten red meat since I was in fifth grade. And so I tend to lean towards well-balanced um, and fresh wines um, with good acidity. And I think our red wines and our white wines encompass that. Mm. So speaking of pairing, um, can you go through the four that are here and give us a few food wine pairings with them? Absolutely. Well, the Napa Valley Estate Sauvignon Blanc is just delicious. I think that's the first thing everyone says about it. But um, it's so fresh and lively. I can have it with, you know, a beautiful uh, green salad with some asparagus with a little pine nuts and goat cheese and maybe a little drizzle of balsamic on that. Of course, oysters, um, anything fresh and lively. The Dollar Hyde Sauvignon Blanc, the second one here, has a touch of barrel fermentation, so it gives me a broader range. I can do truffle popcorn, french fries, a little um, pasta dishes, or beautiful seafood. We're all about sustainable seafood at St. Supery, so throw in a crab cake, some halibut you, with a little, you know, green uh, tapenade on it. Mm. I'm getting very delicious. hungry. I'm sure our delicious. Are too. Okay, let's go into the two reds. Okay, so the Alu, which is our red Bordeaux varietal blend on the end, this wine, I I find has the most versatility of our red wines. It's got great balance and great length. Um, and it's just the tannins are beautiful texture and they're very soft and fine grained. So I can do this with a um, black garlic miso salmon. I can mm. have it with a beautiful roasted chicken. Um, other people in my household might enjoy it with a pork chop or a steak. 
but um, I tend to move a little bit more towards a vegetarian lasagna or a great mushroom dish. I mean, I could go on and on. Ooh, that sounds perfect. And the Dollarhide Cabernet is a really bold wine. For me, I tend to eat this with a, a little minuet, minuet, minuet <laughs> cheese, um, a nice dry aged, uh, multi-aged Gouda, um, beautiful cheese pairings with that. Um, as well as, you know, the classic steak, wine, and, um, but I tend to enjoy it mostly with a cheese plate at the end of dinner or a beautiful mushroom dish. I love to, you know, braise mushrooms and um, enjoy those quite, quite a lot with that. Oh, well, they sound incredible. And, um, well, Anything new on the horizon for Seen Supery that you can leave us with as we end the session? Oh here? gosh, there's so many new things. We're um, putting up some new barns to take care of our electric tractors and some more solar implementations. And we have a brand new wine. Uh, we bought a new vineyard last year, a Sauvignon Blanc vineyard in Rutherford. We grow about nine and a half percent of all the Sauvignon Blanc in Napa Valley. And so that wine is coming out here in just a couple of weeks. Yay. And it's a Rutherford Sauvignon Blanc and a portion of the proceeds from that wine go to um, Fed by Blue, which is a wonderful organization promoting sustainable seafood and the new PBS series, Hope in the Water, which we're the official wine for. Oh, fantastic. Well, congratulations on Thank that. You. Lots of great things. We have Emma Swain, CEO of St. Supery, a state vineyards and winery. And uh, we certainly appreciate you coming up here and uh, visiting our city tonight. Thanks for having me, Lita. It's really fun to see you. This Wine Moment is brought to you by St. Supery Estate Vineyards and Winery, the preeminent producer of 100% estate-grown Sauvignon Blanc and Cabernet Sauvignon, catching you up on all things Napa Valley. <laughs>